We are back at the NBC Sports Studio here at Levi Stadium with the U.S. Army Game of the Week. West Park is having its best start in school history. Yes, it's only the Panthers' second year playing varsity sports in the Sac Joaquin, but West Park did win its league last year. Yep, West Park taking on Rodriguez from the Monticello Empire League. The Mustangs returning star cornerback Leroy Bryant, one of my very favorite players, who committed to play at the University of Washington this past June. He's really good. West Park is 3-0, Rodriguez 3-1. The two teams playing in our U.S. Army Game of the Week. Late start out in West Roseville, but no one seemed to mind as the Mustangs took on the Panthers on Thursday Night Football, and it's the U.S. Army game, so let's get on with it. Opening drive, West Park scores first. They give it to Weston Wade, and the senior running back is shifting and quick. Only one hand was placed on him by the defense as he goes 44 yards for the score. WP goes for two, and they get it 8 nothing. In the second quarter, Rodriguez on the attack. Dylan Burke finds Jeremiah Hill at the goal line. He makes a catch, but does he hang on to it long enough? Refs talk it over, and yes, he does. It's a touchdown. 8-6, Panthers still in the lead. West Park to the air. Devell Barksdale finds Julian Nulala for a 20-yard hookup, and Julian drags the defender down the field. That sets up this 33-yard field goal by Cade Vickers, and the West Park Panthers lead it 11-6 at the half. Third quarter now. Here comes Rodriguez. Burke rolls out and lofts the ball down to Leroy Bryant, who makes a leaping catch for the big gain, 36 yards on the play. But West Park's defense toughens up as the Panthers get the stop here. Wesley Alvarate comes flying in and gets the tackle for the loss on the play. West Park now with the ball. Big third down conversion here as Barksdale slings it to Ryan Sissons for a first down, and they keep the chains moving. From 11 yards out, Barksdale rolls out. Decides to keep it himself, slices up the field and into the end zone for the score. And the Panthers now lead it 18 to 6. Fourth quarter now, and the Panthers are looking to put this sucker away. Hand off to Wade, and he follows his blockers deep into Mustang territory. Down he goes to the one. One play later, Devell Barksdale keeps it himself for a second score of the game, and that would do it as the Panthers from West Park stay undefeated with a 25-6 victory. Strawberry from V101 and Kiss FM spoke with the guys after the game. Man, it's a late night. It was a long game, but guess who came out on top? The Panthers of West Park who are here with me. I want to talk to Braden right here. Offense always gets love, but the defense and special teams came up big tonight, right? Yes, they did. We had a couple key fumble recoveries, one from number 62, Zachariah Vasquez, and number 42, Jonathan Martin, wherever you are. We had tons of key tackles. Jesse Whitfield, number four, was flying all over the field. Great job, defensive end Wesley. Uh, Wesley Abronte, number 32, flying over the field. Judah Jackson, number one, shutting down number one. Uh, Leroy Bryant on the other team, and, you know, we just had a great, great game. Speaking of flying around the field, let's talk to Weston right here. A lot of factors tonight that could have thrown this team's rhythm off, right? Yeah, you know, it's a Thursday night. We had a triple header. Not our usual Friday, but we were able to stay locked in all week and get the job done. Late night, but that victory makes it all that much better, okay? Zachariah right here. Uh, you're a senior. Matter of fact, this school is brand new. It opened three years ago. So you were a member of the first graduating class. What's the legacy this team and these seniors want to leave? We're just a family here. All of us, we all go out to eat together. We all stay together. We all spend the night together. We're just a family over here, and I hope that for the generations to come, we stay a family. Great win. Great win, team. My name is Strawberry. You can catch me on the radio on V101.1 and the brand new KISS 107.9. It's late, but Panthers, do we have any energy left for a victory cheer?